What's up Team KBA, One Tech Traveler here. Now if you picked up the Samsung Galaxy Watch 4, you're probably looking at ways of how you can keep it protected and scratch free. Uh, there are a few third party sellers online and I've done a bit of research and I ended up picking up these two accessories which we're gonna delve into today. They are from a reputable brand called Spigen and these will hopefully cover both aspects to keep the actual watch safe. On the left is the screen protector and it's called Glaster Easy Fit. The second one we're gonna check out after we've put the screen protector is the case, it's called Liquid Air. They have a few options, but I found this was best for me in terms of how I wanted to keep the aesthetic as close to it as possible. You have to make sure you pick up the right version since they also offer liquid air cases for the classic and the different sizes. So you can see it's the 44 millimeter here. Now, of course, I'll share my thoughts and impressions once we've actually applied this and how I think it works in action. But these were very affordable and not really expensive from the third party alternatives. So if like me, you want a bit more assurance on the quality, check out Spigen's Galaxy Watch for accessories. They also have it for Apple iPhone and the previous versions of the Galaxy Watch. So I'll put the links down below. Let's get started with the screen protector and apply it. Uh, on the back, there's a few things it highlights. Easy installation, oleophobic coating. It is real glass and it's tempered, which I prefer. I'm always a big fan of tempered glass screen protectors. Ordinary timepieces that I was wearing prior to the Galaxy Watch 4, um, I would kind of snag it on the door handles or the, the doors themselves. And those are of course made from tougher materials so they can withstand much more than the Galaxy Watch 4 or smartwatches in general. I want to make sure that doesn't happen here. Two trays, I'll call it which is actually nice rather than just reusing one. Um, they kind of have an all-in-one package per piece of film that we want to apply. It says back, remove, step one, press. So I guess we're gonna do it this way and we would press it like that. Extra pieces, naturally. Squidgy, air bubbles, uh, a dust removal sticker. Normally you'll get some little basic pieces, but Spigen, Definitely put some detail on the accessories to help you get that clean application. Lens and screen cleaning wipe. We've got the microfiber cloth, dust removal stickers. Do not throw away, use to remove dust before installing. How to remove bubbles, QR code. And then we have the squidgy. I actually like this. I'm definitely gonna keep this for the future. And uh, yeah, everything that we need. Clean up the screen, use the microfiber cloth. Let's use one Screen wipe. And we can just simply clean that up. And let's use the, this cloth to dry it up. And just check the surface. Decent. Remove all of the dust, especially around the, the bezel. Looks pretty good. A few little dust bubbles. They kind of highlight putting it here. Against the light, just check. Looks good. Oh, a few small one here. Being very particular, I think it looks good. Just stick that back. Step one, we want to press and then remove from there. So first off, let's remove the adhesive. So this is going to press onto the screen. Step one, press. So it fits cleanly that's why you've got to get the right model the size press okay don't know how hard to press but let's try this out and then step two remove from here moment of truth and i guess we can remove
okay and then just squeegee out I like this squeegee feels good nice So when I lifted up the case, it kind of lifted the bottom a bit. So uh, just make sure you firmly do it. And let's see here. All right, it should be okay. And then we have one last film that we're gonna remove, which is the top of the protector. Fingers crossed. Yes. All right. That is clean, fresh. Happy with that no bubbles very clean one thing when it comes to smart watches is actually the placement like trying to make sure is exactly within the circle sometimes you can sort of veer it a bit too close to one bezel so it kind of lives a bit more so in terms of this tray really dig it definitely going to keep it and um, because it kind of sits perfectly in here so i like that a lot you probably want to really press hard on the bottom and as you're lifting it it's going to sort of lift up from the bottoms, going underneath and then uh, holding it flat. But I don't mind because you kind of have the squedgy. Before you press it down, if there's any dust underneath the remaining parts, then uh, you can quickly use this before you apply this squedgy. Uniform, perfect. So that is the easy fit glass screen protector. And again, it is glass, it's tempered, it's hard. It's not the flimsy film. So this is going to help on the durability and not just the scratches. So far, so good. Highly rated, very easy and convenient to apply. The steps are very straightforward and uh, just make sure you prep the glass before you put the screen protector on top of it. Overall, very clean and no problems when it comes to the application. It's perfectly in the center, so mad props there. And then finally, to complete the set, then we've got the liquid air case. So let's unbox this ah. and guess that's it. Yeah. So this is it. <laughs> this is the liquid air case and we have this instruction card. Let me just give you a quick look at the liquid air before we really apply it. So yeah, you can see here it's got a very nice fit and design to the Galaxy Smartwatch 4. Uh, this part looks to be the bottom. It's easy to apply because we have the two physical buttons so we can lay that out. It has some flex, but it looks to be pretty rugged and I like how they have all the individual cutouts. And we even have a little bit of a texture here it gives it more of a, a timepiece look it looks like we have to slide the two physical buttons and we put the two prongs of the arms like closest to the buttons through the wider hole and then we just thread it over we just line up the buttons cool and i guess we just loop over the arm so you want to stretch it a little bit but it's not going to break all right and then we just slide it in place and we are good to go so let's just make sure everything's all fitted looks good and i think that's it so with just a little bit of effort to slide in these two parts uh, once you've got the these two buttons and these through it's clean and you can see the screen protector is not lifted up from the case, a problem that you have if you apply other protectors because they are not working together. So with Spigens, you can kind of just place these together and they do say they are compatible, which for me is important. We have a look, the buttons fit in perfectly. The case is actually a little bit thicker, so the buttons are slightly depressed but no problem for me at all. They're still very much pressable. Just a bit more flushed in with the case for that protection. I like it. Over on the back, they've got good attention to detail, even with a little cutout towards the top part. SW142, 44 millimeter, made in South Korea. Perfect, because we are in Korea and it's Spigen Ink. 
nice it lets all the details and of course the sensor in the middle come through but it protects not only the sides but also loops underneath and the front of the bezel let's go ahead and put the strap together there we go that was much quicker so there we have it we are fully protected now with my samsung galaxy watch 4 the spigen liquid air looks really clean and we also have the easy fit protector that fits perfectly within the case. This is great for the black bezeled watch 4 since it kind of stays consistent with the design. It doesn't add that much bulk. It's fairly lightweight, but really rugged too. So perfect if you're looking to work out and just give that extra protection to the armor case. Both the easy fit and the liquid air are 100% worth it. The easy fit protector is roughly just over $10. And then the liquid air is $15, $20 if you find a good sale on it. So these are the Spigen accessories. Let me just put it on my wrist to finish up. I definitely have confidence wearing it and choosing them over other accessories. We'll see how it pans out, but for now, it does exactly what I want, stylish and affordably. So thanks a lot, Team KBA. If you have any problems or comments, uh, then definitely share them down below. I'll put the links again to the Easy Fit and the Liquid Air if you want to get this for your own Galaxy smartwatch 4. Check out my other videos I'm doing around the smartwatch as we're delving into Android Wear OS, the apps available, how you can sort of set it up, and some of my thoughts in an upcoming impressions and video review. I'll see you in the next video, but until then, keep being awesome. Peace.